I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. I'm more than some pretty face beside a train. It's not easy to be me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 53 of A Brew With You. I am one of your hosts, Blake Mickle, accompanied by the five for fighting super fan, Danny Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I mean, I used to, I actually to tell you this, I haven't seen it. I just had a big crush on Elizabeth Shue growing up. It was one of my it was my first like crush. Yeah, I still have a crush on Elizabeth. I Shue. just wanted her to be my babysitter. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was like that girl. And then she came uh, Avengers and babysitting. Yes, remember that? I don't remember that movie though. I just remember the awesome. Um, the cover of the uh, VHS, Dating Ourselves, but it was a cover sure. of the VHS and they were climbing up the building. Remember that? Yep. But I don't remember the movie very much. Uh, she was also recently, as of the past, I want to say, couple of years at least, was in Piranhas 3D. Really? With, with Christopher Lloyd. I'd watch yeah. just for her. Oh, Christopher Lloyd's in it too? Yep. He oh, plays wow. the crazy scientist. Ooh. Okay. Which is a suitable role for Christopher sure. Lloyd. Sure. Yeah. I'm glad he's still kicking. You know, sure. I mean, not kicking, but still, uh, act, uh, still working, I should say. Not kicking, but working. Um... Yeah, you're trying to get that, and you give them chapsticks. I'm gonna get it. I, uh, you know what? I, you know when she, you know who was, when Elizabeth Shue was like really attractive in the movie The Saint with Val Kilmer. Oh, Danny's focused. Grasshopper. I'm gonna get it. You're on camera right now. Sure, I'm still no, gonna get it. No, I mean like on camera, like you're gonna. It's yeah. Either your your failure or your success is gonna be recorded right now. Danny looks like a cat right now, ladies and gentlemen. He's like a kitten with a ball, like a. Yeah. <laughs> They just keep yeah, coming into my side I'm just like, I'm going to get, get one. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. I'm just more worried that I'm going to knock over my beer. That's right. Well, speaking of beer, for any of you joining us for the very first time, A Brew With You is where Danny and I will try a beer for the very first time while discussing random topics broken out Tuesday through Thursday on YouTube with the whole episode being released on Friday. If you like what you hear, like what you see, like what you feel, go to patreon.com slash bigdealblake to get this episode a week early along with your exclusive content rewards and perks. Today, I brought the beer. So, Danny, where are we drinking? Well, uh, seeing as how we have made many, many references to them over a year, we're drinking of doing in the, the show. Five for fighting green room, aren't we? No, <laughs> no, we are not. Um, I wouldn't actually. I wouldn't be surprised if that song made its way into a Simpsons episode. Oh, but sure. because we even did classical gas and a little bit of a joke about it in our opening, one of the last uh, two episodes back, I think. Sure. I I thought you know what? Why don't we just full blown drink on the actual Simpsons? The Sim- we got to do that one two three. The Simpsons, yeah. just like that too. Oh yeah. Um, we we how has that never been a topic for us? I don't know. Isn't that I, weird? It's just it just works its way into into it works its way into conversation uh, on a normal basis throughout. I think sure. on nearly every episode that we've recorded. I mean, it was a very important show for us. You know, as kids growing up, because it had some adult humor and references to it, and it it had what. I would say five, six solid seasons, six solid seasons, I would say. Yeah. And then after the that, it was okay. And then, and then it just got forgotten after that, but it's still on the TV, but we should make that a topic, a future episode. You can write that down, make it, th- make it your sure. topic one of your times if you're struggling. Yeah. Or make it the topic today. Switch it up last minute. Who cares? Who knows? You can do that. So the Simpsons on three, one, two, three, the Simpsons. Dun, 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 dun. Danny Elfman, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yes. One Do you think the, he still gets paid for that song, or is it like a one-time fee? Uh, I venture to guess there's royalties you somewhere. Think so? I think so. Somewhere involved, there has to be. Right? Maybe there was a contract. I bet you got paid one time, but if it, like, like for a TV contract, like syndication, you get it. You would get money, but not like for every episode or anything like that. Like, I bet you it's like a thing, like not just syndication, but the show still like has seasons, like fresh yeah. seasons. So I'm sure he gets a paid for one syndication and two for ongoing seasons. So speaking of Danny Elfman, uh, this is kind of random, but it just, I don't think I mentioned this recently, but I did recently. And it's only because we've talked about The Nightmare Before Christmas several times on this show. Yeah. And I always bring up Chris Sarandon's voice. I recently found out that it's not him singing, it's Danny Elfman singing. Oh, well, yes. I knew, actually, I, that, that for Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually didn't know that. I and, always thought it was Chris Sarandon, and then I found out that it was Danny Elfman who did yeah, all the singing, and I, I was just like, man, Danny Elfman is even more awesome than I thought. Yeah, that's, that's to tell you the truth, that's arguably my favorite musical, believe it or not. I know like people yeah. like what, say, what, no, Oklahoma, and, 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 and Phantom, and... Blah, 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 all the, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, the End of the Woods, and all these other musicals, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I think... Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorite musicals, if not my favorite. It's, I, it sounds weird and crazy. I know it's yeah. a sacrilege to <laughs> musical lovers and Broadway, but I mean, I, do, I definitely like some musicals. I yeah. mean, I like, I, I'm, I, believe it or not, I like one of the most hated musicals, Cats. I love Cats. <laughs> um, I hate Oklahoma. I hated Wicked. Um, Have you seen Hamilton? No, no one has. It's coming to Chicago, though. 
Yeah. Do you know that the, the pre-sales tickets for Chicago was like out? Like, it, it oh, was like sure. the servers were crashing and phone numbers. It was like, yeah. it was a bigger, I tweeted something and it got real popular. And it was like the Michael Jackson gif, you know, when he's eating the popcorn. It's like me watching people trying to buy Hamilton tickets right now. And he's just eating the popcorn because it was just, people were like, like, it was like winning the lottery. They were freaking out if the people got through. And like, yeah. oh my God, I got five tickets. And But the thing is though, the demand is so high that people said like, listen, we're sold out. But the show is in so demand. It shows going to run in Chicago for at least two years. Yeah. Two years. I'm just going to buy tickets for the last show at the end of the two years. Go into that bottle. Go into that bottle. Dang it. This Nat is driving Danny crazy. He is seriously in cat form. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's drink. Um, so today, What do we have for us? I, um, for our season two of A Brew With You, if you will. We finished season one. If you will, yeah, uh, we are now in you know the Temple of Doom. We are now in the Godfather Two. The Empire, the Empire is striking s- back. Yes, the two towers, if you will. We are in um, uh, the Winter Soldiers. The you get it yet? Nope. God damn it, mm. Danny. Soon. Cla- Very Why soon. Try clapping. Very soon. Um, what other good sequels are there? Uh, Blood. Oh no, not Bloodsport. Kickboxer Two. Um, no, I'm trying to think of any Van Damme movies actually had solid sequels and I don't think that they did. Um, no, no, Bloodsport, Kickboxer, Street Fighter, um, uh, hard, 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 hard target, hard target. We're in the dark world. Thor 2. They're in the dark world. Winter Soldier. What's in, like Iron Man 2 is just Iron Man 2, right? Iron Man 2 is just Iron Man 2. So we're in the Mickey Rourke's. Of seasons. Anywho, you get the idea, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We are in season two of Brew With You. After 52 episodes, we are now on to 53, moving on to getting that second year done. So, as you have known, if you watch the one year in a special, we have theme months. We do dry January. In May, we do funny name May. And now, for October, Danny, what are we calling this again? Uh, I think we agreed on Pumptoberfest. Pumptoberfest! And what are we doing? Uh, Pumptoberfest, we are going to be celebrating the fall seasonal lineup of beers. Uh, so are we strictly doing pumpkin beers or are we sticking to pumpkin and Oktoberfest? That's why it's called Pumptober. Yeah. So we're doing both Pumptoberfest. All right. So for all of October, uh, we're going to be doing Pumptoberfest where we will strictly be rating pumpkin beers and Oktoberfest beers. That's right. Either or. I almost did one thing. I almost bought the same brewery, uh, a pumpkin and an Oktoberfest from the same brewery and had it on the Ooh. show. But I'm like, you know what? I think that'd be like, like we should spread that out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we got time. So yeah. Plenty of time. But I was oh. thinking about getting Halloween is coming up too. Hooray. What'd you do for Halloween? Oh yeah. We hung out for Halloween last year. You went as the uh, Netflix guy. Kung Fury. Kung Fury. And I went as the uh, New Zealand rugby players. Uh, the all blacks. And I wore my, my, my rugby stuff. Yeah. Remember that? We got to start thinking about Halloween already. Yeah. I think Jeff's having a party. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Um, so because it's a theme month, Pumptoberfest, I brought a very good brew that we've surprised we've never had on the show in 52 episodes. We never had this. So 53, we finally got you in there after your dogfish heads, pumpkin ale or pumpkin, pumpkin ale. It's pumpkin. We haven't drank anything from dogfish head. Not one thing. Really? If you can prove me wrong. All right. I'll look into it, but I don't, I, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I, if there was a, a I did, we've only had one combination brewery on the show, right? No, yeah. we had two. We had two. We had the uh, carrot cake, the 24 carrot cake, and the false uh, dichotomy. The, false economy. I was going to say two brothers. Um, I don't remember. Tom had. So, anywho, um, Dogfish Head, very, very well known brewery. <laughs> um, you see it in a tap in a lot of places, uh, including yours, I'm sure, right? Yes. Um, Dogfish Actually, Head. I actually just had uh, some of the reps in from Dogfish Head the other day. Super nice people. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We found out they're from Delaware. Did not know that. Did you know that, Danny? I did not know that. Um, so here's the story of pun, pumpkin ale, a full body brown ale with a smooth hint of pumpkin and brown sugar. We brew our pumpkin ale with pumpkin meat, brown sugar, and spices as the season cools. It is the perfect beer to warm up with. Hmm. Um, started in 1995 and give you some facts. Uh, ABV 7.0, IBU 28. Hi-o. Release date, September, October, November. And it's a style. It's a pumpkin beer. So, Danny. Shall we try our very first pumpkin slash Oktoberfest beer for pumpkin or pump? Wait, say it again. Pumptoberfest. Pumptoberfest. It sounds appropriately kind of gross and a little bit bro-y. So, yeah. yeah that's kind of like us. Yeah. <laughs> Nostrove. 
Let the Pumptober festivities begin. Mmm. That's refreshing. First time, refreshing. The thing with pumpkin ales is this. I don't think there's much of a gray area with pumpkin ales. It's either hit or miss. It, I, I really feel that way. I had a br- uh, beer uh, off the show. I'm not going to reveal what it was. But if it was on the show, I would have gave it a 1 out of 5. I sent a picture to Danny and said, Danny, I just had this. We were having this on the show, 1 out of 5. This was the worst thing. We actually um, we drained it. We couldn't finish the beer. We dropped. Oh, wow. we, we drained it. It was that bad. Um, now I'm dropping what it is, though, so don't worry. Um, might bring it on the show just to see Danny's reaction to it. But it was, sure. hor- it was horrible. Um, this is not bad. This is a refreshing pumpkin ale. Yeah, that is not bad. Not the best, but not the bad. Not bad. I am um, debating whether or not to have my favorite pumpkin ale on the show, but it might violate the rules because we both had it. Maybe I'll just do it at the very end of the month to say like, this is my favorite pumpkin ale and it still hasn't been beat or I'll reveal what it is once I find a worthy opponent. But I have two pumpkin ales that are amazing. Yeah, that I don't know if we'll have on the show or not. That to me is is quite heavy on the brown sugar and the nutmeg. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. Um, less less on the pumpkin though, personally. Yeah, I mean it's definitely there, uh, but I do get a lot of the nutmeg and brown sugar. I mean, I like this. It's it's refreshing. It's I think it's okay. Again, defeating my entire purpose, saying there is no gray area where this feels like this is a gray area. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, this is season two of A Brew with You. Episode 53, we have a new rating scale that Danny is introducing. And at the very end of the podcast, as of all the other shows, we rate the beer at the end of the podcast, but with a new scale. And we are also rating the art dash labels of Ooh, the beers, which is right. exciting. Remember that. Yes. So, something new. It's the same, but just adding a little extra to it. You know, like whenever, who yeah. doesn't like a little bit more, Danny? Sure. You know, we evolve. It's what like, we do. It's like, here's some pizza, right? Here's some cheese pizza. But what I put some sausage on it for, yeah. for no extra cost? I'm not going to say no. Why not? Who, who doesn't peppers? like sausage unless you're a veg, uh, you know, vegetarian? But that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. All right. So if you're a vegetarian, here's a cheese pizza. I'm going to put some mushrooms on it. You and don't spinach. like mushrooms. You don't like mushroom spinach, but you know what? The vegetarians do. Sure. Extra. Extra is great. It's more. I actually, uh, at Lou Malnati's this weekend, which is, seems to be the go-to for post-baptisms in my family. Uh, I think that's a great place for, uh, yeah. Yeah, for uh, post-blessings. Uh, yes. A <laughs> couple, couple of pictures of beer and a lot of pizza. Oh, and that's great. We actually had a thin crust spinach, which was delicious. What's, what's it called? Just a thin crust spinach. Ooh, yeah. Like we had a couple of deep dish pizzas and a couple of thin crusts for people who didn't want. I Obviously, I ate both because mm. um, it was there. Have you ever been to Home Slice, Danny? You know what? I never have. Oh, very good. Well... Um, for any of you who uh, saw, you know, I ran a half marathon in July and I was in shape and, uh, uh, Jeff was kind of like, well, if you did one, you should do two, you know, my trainer dash friend dash patron. So Jeffy, so sneaky. Been in five episodes in season one. I'm just calling season one two. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I just kind of, uh, improvised that. Sure. So G, uh, Jeff was in five episodes and then he's like, you should do two. And then, um, Jennifer, uh, you know, um, you know, Jennifer, um, she's like, well, I want to do a half marathon. And then so Jeff and I ran the half marathon again with Jennifer. Okay. Supported her. Sure. And she did it yesterday. Awesome. And I did it with her. I feel fine. I feel great. But afterwards, what the best part about running a half marathon is because you're burning like two to three thousand calories. Maybe not three, but you're definitely burning over two thousand. Right. Right. So what you're going to do, Danny, is you're going to eat. Pizza and beer. You got to carve up. So we went to Home Slice. Oh yeah. Right afterwards, and I had one of the best pizzas I ever had last. Wait, day. where is Home Slice? On Webster. Oh, I have been there. Okay. I don't know why, but when you said Home Slice, for some reason, Home Run Inn. Oh God. Registered in my head. A Home Run Inn pizza? Not the frozen, like the actual restaurant. Oh, I don't know that then. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, like that Home Run pizza. You're thinking of the the frozen variety. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, their actual restaurant has pretty decent pizza. Oh no shit. Yeah. Okay. Really funny story to that, too. So, anywho, let me get to that in a sec. Oh, so let me go back tra- Let me backtrace this. <clears throat> That's an internet joke for people. Um, the, oh, we got to fix the facts, too. Damn it. Anywho, yes. I'll tell a story, though. So Sure. Um, so, after the marathon, after the half marathon, you know, they have all the vendors and people are lounging. They're their bananas. They're drinking their waters. And there's all these stations to snack. You get free beer afterwards. It's okay. great. You know, like you want your carbs after sure. all that running. So they give you, we had a food ticket for free pizza. And it was that home run pizza, I think it's called, right? You said frozen pizza is the home run pizza? Home run in. Yeah, home run. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, well, you look at it. We all open it up. And it's like this, it looked like a piece of 
like craft cheese slapped on a cracker with like rabbit turds for sausage on it. I'm like, what? And we threw it out. We tried to find the homeless people to give it to, but we didn't find any, so we just threw it out. Um, and we thought it was so funny that they're serving that after some of the most fit people you'll see around where they're being, drinking like nutrition drinks. And, and You're positive that was the brand? What's it, what does the logo look like? Here. I, I mean, no, I just, it's, I mean, I'm almost positive. It's, it's, it would be weird to me that they would have frozen pizzas to serve you guys yeah. and not, and not a sponsor for, for that. That would be, you know, at least a chain. I think it was, well, was it home run? I think it was home run. Pretty sure. Jeff, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was home run. Pretty sure. Yeah. Weird. Uh, pretty like, bad. Like I said, I think I would think they would have a sponsor to to do that if they're if they're running a half marathon. I, I wouldn't think they would just get frozen pizzas. Well, I mean that was the sponsor though. I mean they had like it wasn't like they served it on a like actually like the box they had it said home run on the box. That's why I'm remembering that. Hmm. It was like a, like a, each piece each slice came in its own box. It said home run. I think it, maybe it was not home run. I thought it was home run. Anywho. Doesn't matter. It was not good pizza. I don't discriminate against pizza. Anyhow, um, I do. It's like tacos. There's not really any bad tacos. There's just better tacos. I would agree with that more with tacos and pizza, personally. I agree with that same more with tacos and pizza. So after this, this pizza that we didn't eat, we went to Home Slice, and we had some of the best pizza. It was called the, uh, the um, Somalian. The Somalian, I think I called. or I think it was called the Somalian. I think. Yeah. Or sit. Or Samilton. I can't remember. Uh, Starts with an S. Shit. 20, Samilton, 20, Somalian. Swanson? Somalian. Swanson? Swanson? Swansonite. I was, I was way, way off. off. <laughs> um, it was, you know, home, run, home runs we like... Got the, we got the quote wrong. Samsonite. Samsonite. Yeah. No, we said Samsonite. No, no said Samsonite. I said Swansonite. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh no, got to fix that one right now. Oh, that was good. I have so, cousins that would never let me live that down. I haven't seen I that movie I missed that quote. Mm. Get out of here, Dumb Dad. Dumb You see a... Yeah, that, did you get it? No. Damn. That Nat is, we're going to get it by the end of the show. Um, you say you haven't seen, you saw Credit Kid the last couple of months. It was a lot more recent. I, Dumb and Dumber is something I haven't seen in a long time. I don't wonder if it still holds up. I don't know. I remember it was very. Like, I bet it does. You think so? I, I think it's just one of those that, as a kid, you loved it so much that there's so no nostalgia reason, funny. There's, there's no reason why you wouldn't love it now. However, I think we have mentioned it in season one. Season that, one. That um, of all people, uh, who I would thought would have loved the sequel. Uh, Patrick uh, Ramke told me that he was just not a fan of the sequel at all. Uh, I so. watched the sequel. I had some laughs. It wasn't great by any yeah. means. It wasn't. It's but rough. there was definitely some laughs. It's I, rough to top something I, like that. I like. Well, see, that's that was really big. Like when airplane movie airplane, which is phenomenal, and Naked Gun. Like it had that stupid humor, like that stuff. And it, we yeah. kind of like you know a lot of stuff came from that. I love that type of humor. You know, I love that. And. Um, that still has a place in my heart. And there were some jokes in that that were pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. But it wasn't a great movie or anything like that. It had some laughs. doesn't matter. But when I'm going into a movie like that, I'm not looking for like, oh, this is the best movie or anything. I'm just trying to find a laugh here and there. But Home sure. Style. Or home sli uh, um, Slice. Home Slice. This pizza, Danny, was the bomb. And I'm, so I'm telling you, everyone now, that it was... Like, not thin crust, but not thick either. It was like a little bit thicker than a, a thin crust. It has yeah. a, like a big crust at the end that you hold, but like this, you know, it, it was like a thick piece, but it was still thin. You know what I mean? You still eat yeah. it without, you know. And here we go. Menu. And yeah, then, no, I've, I've eaten there before. It's, they, have, they have a solid product. Uh, we also had excellent service. Um, so props to them. Uh, the Samilton. Okay. So I want to read the Samilton pizza for all you people. Sure. Okay? Prosciutto, spinach, caramelized onion, sun-dried tomato, balsamic, goat cheese, and cream cheese base. Unbelievable pizza, dude. It was so good. It was... Jennifer was like, this is the best pizza I ever had. Like, wait, that's a very, very bold statement. And she's like, no, statement. no, 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 that's... No, this is. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, that's a bold statement. But she was, she was thinking and thinking and thinking. Nothing came um, to it. <clears throat> yeah, if I'm not mistaken, we had... A, well, the girl could not forget her name because it was so great. Uh, she went by Rock, <laughs> which was awesome. Um, like a rock. And so 
I think the guy's name was Mike, if I'm not mistaken. We had them as kind of a tandem because they were both serving the patio. Sure. Uh, awesome service. And that was actually the day that Caleb, Sean, and I got uh, bought a round of drinks because we had Careless Whisper <laughs> playing at our table. Oh, right. Oh, that reference a couple episodes yeah. ago. Very good. Yeah. I love their glasses there, too, how they serve the beer. It's like the little like bent lip on the end. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I love those glasses. I actually yeah. want a set of those. I would like a set of those. I want to get rid of like a lot of these like that were like stolen from bars or I don't know how we got these. I honestly don't know how I got all my pints that had like a random J-W shit on them. Dundee's Honey Brown Ale. Like where did this shit come from? I have no idea. I would like to get like rid of so much shit and get like nice stuff in my place. I would like to get that. Get rid of my pots and pans, my glasses, like just like, like organize my shit. Yeah. I know it costs money, but shit, you know what? You want shit done, you got to pay for it, you know? You get what you pay for. Danny. Yes. Let's fix some facts. And... And error. Some errors. Air, so, errors. Error, error, error. Uh, at the season finale of season one, uh, a few things came up that we just needed to correct. Uh, nothing major. Uh, however, you did ask me a few direct questions. I did some research. Um, starting off that game, uh, we talked about you going to Texas and immediately stopping at the Western Shop. I didn't say it because I couldn't think of it. Uh, but the name of that Western shop is Cavender's Boot City. Uh, that's yeah. a chain in Texas. They're all over Houston. Um, a little shout out to uh, old Grandpa the McGee there who formed my hat. Because <laughs> uh, he watches. So, you know, he's, oh, he's, an, avid, awesome he's, he did. he's an avid follower. I love it. Uh, the famous parkour, uh, the founder of parkour, really. Uh, it's His name is David Bell, or I, he's French, so it might be Bay. I don't know. Sure. Um, but he's actually the one who founded parkour. Yeah. Uh, so he's kind of a legendary uh, stunt choreographer and stunt man, but he has appeared in movies. So he's actually the one that appeared in Brick Mansions, opposite of Paul Walker. Uh, the oh, mo- okay. The, the movie that I think you were thinking of, was it called District 13? Yes, it was. Okay. So I knew there was an, I said Area 52 yeah. or something. Was it, I was like, I looked, it's a name and a I number. Looked up, I looked up Area 52. Uh, there's actually a comedy, like a, a sci-fi spoof comedy called that. And there's actually a surprising amount of like real conspiracy theories that there is an Area 52. That's cool. An, an additional test site. Oh, cool. Um, we could do some parkour at Area 52 then. Yes. Uh, but so, yeah, David, uh, David Bell is the guy. He was in both. He was the star in both movies. Yeah, yeah. And, I watched and, both. And I he, did. He is awesome. Like in, I was, in Brick Mansions, he does some crazy stuff. I, I, I remember watching, uh, the, the, to tell you the truth, the opening. The movie sucks. The both movies <laughs> suck. But I just watch it because like the part, you watch it because you want to watch some cool parkour. Sure. The opening to District 13 was awesome. It was awesome. That was actually a, one of my favorite parts about the very uh, opening sequence in Casino Royale when we intro- sure. we got introduced to Daniel Craig. Is that first like ten minute chase scene he has with the guy is the guy four. yeah the guy's doing freestyle running and somehow Bond because he's Bond is keeping up in a suit yeah and Bond can do it all yeah uh, what else you got. Last but not least, uh, for the second time in two seasons, the same fact is being fixed. Uh, this one's for you, Christy. Uh, I looked it up, REI, and so we'll never forget it again. I'll forget it again. Recreational Equipment Incorporated. It's Incorporated. really Incorporated. It's really easy. Yeah. No, it's not. That's those are long words. Recreational Equipment Inc. Yes, but that's those are yeah. Incorporated. <laughs> so say Inc. That's, that I think of ink. We can abbreathe. I think of ink. I think of ink. Yeah, we can abbreathe. I think of all oh, George be, Washington and, and like, taking his old feather pen and his be old like, quill. We can be like all the other millennials and abbreviate everything. Oh, God. I don't want to be a Snapchat is now just called Snap. No! Yeah. They changed their name. What's Snapchat? <laughs> it's just Snap now. You don't, you oh, don't even God. say chat. It's just you Snap. snap? You just Snap me. Oh. Snap me, Danny. And put some, give me a filter with a snap on it with some clouds on it. Did you hear that they're releasing uh, snap glasses? Yes, I saw the picture of it today. The CEO had some like trendy glasses. I don't, I don't know. So my question is, this is going to be funny because instead of seeing people standing in public doing 360 views with their phone, are we now just going to see people just spinning, tapping their glasses? <laughs> I feel like that's what we're going to be seeing. Oh, God. That's going to be the new thing. The future, everybody. Just put the chips in our goddamn brain already. Could right. you just please do that so we're just connected? All I want to do is become a cyborg from DC so I can just be integrated into everything. I just want to be Keanu Reeves in the Matrix. Is that's that it. so hard to ask? That's it. No. No. Danny, thank you for uh, your efforts, buddy. 
Uh, always, always a pleasure. For one, not a, well, we should find the, 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 we talked about it last episode, the first time you did the Fixing the Facts. Um, 17. 17. Yep. So we'll have to do the math on that when the, a year of episodes have been 17. We'll celebrate that year of Fixing the Facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's move on here. Season two, EP 17.